Hi you, my name is Jericho and welcome back to another day in the Pokemon hobby. I have an ETB, I also have a double V box. We're going Charizard hunting. But before that, I'd like to say thank you to you, my valued viewer, and the Pokemon community for all the kind words you've been sending my way. It really validates what I've been trying to do for this channel and that is to give content that is just to share in the good vibes and the good times of the Pokemon hobby. So I really appreciate that and thank you. I would also like to thank the support and the words of encouragement from fellow Filipino Pokemon YouTubers Roel from Pokemon Pinoy's and Brian and Josh from Pika Pikachua. These guys make amazing content. I'll be linking their channels in the description below. If you do have the time, go check them out and subscribe to their channels as well. They make amazing content. And without further ado, let's find ourselves a Charizard. Let's get it! Welcome back you guys. As you can see, we got ourselves a new playmat. We have a Mega Charizard playmat. I got it from a local reseller and it looks really amazing. So hopefully this will help bless, you know, the Charizard pulls in the future and, you know, just to make all these videos look really pretty. So this is the first box uh, that we have, the Double V box. We haven't opened this in our channel. Uh, this product comes with four Champion's Path booster box. Uh, booster packs and a double v promo card and if you really like that cheap a jumbo double v jumbo card for you and these boxes i have to say from champion's path look really slick these black parts of the box are really matte and you know just looks really nice and we have our other product right here yes we have a champion's path elite trainer box looking really nice reflecting all the lights from my room and we actually opened one before in this channel so you may want to check that video out um, but I would not um, probably show you guys how I unbox these things as it will take a lot of time so stick around I'll be opening these in just a sec and bang welcome back again so I unboxed that double V box and I just took off the clear wrap from this elite trainer box just to save time but yeah it comes with this jumbo Jumbo Double V card, promo card, and a Double V promo card. So here is the code card for you guys. There you go. And we'll put this aside. And we're actually just starting off with a Double V booster packs first, and then we'll go on to the Elite Trainer box. So it comes with these four packs. Today we got we got three Dreadnought pack arts and a Galarian Obstagoon. So since there's only one Galarian Obstagoon, I'll leave that for last. Yeah, let's go. Let's go right into it. The reason that I'm doing this video today is that I wanted to compare the pull rates from Double V box. Oh, here you go. It's a code card for you. So yeah, I wanted to compare the Double V box with the Elite Trainer box just to compare the pull rates. Um, I wanted to know how you guys are doing with Champion's Path as this box this product uh, haven't been too nice to me personally as the polls have haven't been that great to admit but the search is still on and we're still just having fun Rotom phone reverse and oh my okay there you go first hit Venusaur V right off that double V box um, first pack magic I have to say I really like this card just because of I don't know if you guys if you guys have seen the the news on the Venusaur V Max cards and the Blastoise V Max cards. I have to say those guys look really boss and really exciting actually. Something to look forward to in the in future um, future sets. Okay, all right, code card for you. One, two, three, four from the back. But yeah, essentially, I just wanted to compare um, the double V boxes from uh, the Elite Trainer boxes. Uh, as I've explained in the previous video, the Elite Trainer box um, shows to be more of a value for money product. So usually these are the things that run out really fast in supply. And okay, we have Kabu Reverse and a Senti Scorch Holographic. Funny story with Senti Scorch, actually. Uh, I opened up a what's that? Herbery, Herbery Field. Anyway, the one one of the products with the Dreadnought uh, promo card, and literally it comes with three packs, right? And the only pull 
that I got from that box, I'm not even kidding, are three Centiscorch holo cards. So that was just, that was both sad and hilarious at the same time. No V cards, no full arts, just three Centiscorch pulls. So that was pretty funny. <laughs> so Carvana, Ekans, Nicket, Roly Coley, Scraggy. Oh, we got another Machamp reverse and a Lycanroc holographic. Uh, how have you guys been pulling Machamp in this in this um, product these days? It's pretty funny how often he shows up in all these booster packs. I've had a couple, uh, but no Charizard yet. But we are still hopeful for today. Okay, code card for you. Side. One, two, three, four. We have Fighting Energy. We have Pierce, Sharpedo, Rotom Bike, Purloin, Rock Ruff, Volpix, Galarian Zigzagoon. We have Machop, a Professor Research, Research Reverse, and a an Al Creamy V Max. Let's go. So two great pulls from that box. We have a Venusaur V and uh, an and Al Creamy V Max. And just like me, I do not have sleeves with me right now and I'll be right back. And bam, just like that, I am back with my Champions Path sleeves right here. Me looking all prepared and stuff. So we're gonna sleeve up our Al Creamy V Max card. God. Okay, we're going to save up our Venusaur V. All right. I should actually go ahead and sleeve that promo card from our box. Okay, put this guy right here. Okay, looking very pretty and nice. Our double V, our Venusaur V, and our Al Creamy V Max. I have to say that box was pretty good because um, usually the, the pulls for these products aren't so great. So we're now going to open up our Elite Trainer box. All right, so very quickly, we're gonna go through the contents. Uh, if you want a more detailed review, uh, you better check out the old video that I put in. Uh, it's pretty fun too. So yeah, it comes with a player's guide. And this really, really nice Elite Trainer box. Okay, put these aside. Okay, so it comes with a okay, card game rules. Ooh, this is our promo card right here. Let's take a look actually, let's, let's take our time with this promo card. So the reason that these boxes have been running out is because of this guy. Uh, the pull rates aren't that good in Champion's Path, so at least if you open up uh, this Elite Trainer box, you are guaranteed this promo card. Really nice. Okay, I'll put this guy right there. Yep, and it comes with this promo card. A promo card with <laughs> this code card for you. All right, and it comes with a pack of energy cards. I have so many of these. Hit me up if you guys want a, an, uh, an energy pack. More sleeves, dividers. Okay. Uh, we have our dices and counters here. And we are actually going for these right here. Okay, put that to the side. Okay, we have our packs for Champion's Path. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten packs from Champion's Path. Let's put that into two. Give it a quick mix. And we are actually now going for that Charizard. Hopefully, we're going to find it. In this elite trainer box, I'm actually just so excited. I can't even like, uh, honestly, like doing this channel is pretty fun as I'm opening these guys for you. Um, but actually talking and and opening these packs could be a bit challenging. But it's all good fun, you know. Okay, so here's a pack. Here's a code card for you. Put that to the side. Four from the back, and let's get into this elite trainer box. We have Energy, Victini, 
Suspicious Food Tin, Swab Blue, Athena, Galarian Linoon, Pokeball, Scraggy, a Reverse Ekans, and for our first pull, Ace Crafty, Holographic. All right, not too bad. Uh, we're going for our next pack, Galarian Obstagoon. Have you guys seen the set list for Vivid Voltage? Uh, Galarian Obstagoon, I think, is one of the gold cards, gold secret rares that you can pull from the set. From Vivid Voltage, I'm sorry. And it just looks amazing. Okay, energy card. Suspicious Food Tin, Kabu, Arbok, Galarian Zigzagoon, Lulicoli, Trubbish, Vulpix, Swablu, a Weedle Reverse, and Oh, an Altaria Holographic, okay. Um, I hear that card is pretty competitive, uh, like the Sidui from Darkness of Blaze, but uh, I'm still a noob in the, in the trading card game, but I'm really enjoying it so far. Um, I hope all of you guys have been staying safe during this pandemic. Um, and if you do want to learn how to play the card game with, like me, I just learned during this um, quarantine, uh, you should go ahead and try it online. It's pretty fun, honestly. I mean, I've been playing a lot of different card games in the past. I've been playing a lot, uh, a lot of Magic the Gathering back in the day. I still have some of my decks. Uh, I'm not that good, but I just really enjoy playing. Collecting-wise, okay, we have a Reverse, Marnie, and a Zygarde Holographic. Okay, so collecting-wise, I am really having fun with Pokemon. That's why I made this channel, and, and it really, um, I'm really grateful for all the, all the kind words that I've been getting. That's why I put it in the first part of this video. I'm just really grateful for all of you guys. Um, we have, okay, so here's a code card. We have around 90 subscribers, which is really, uh, to me, honestly, Nakatabasha ng puso, guys. I'm really, I'm really just really grateful for all of you. And just hanging out with me here, opening these packs. We have a Sizzlipede, Full Heal, Trubbish, Galarian Zigzagoon, Incave, a Reverse Sizzlipede, and our first pull. Let's go, Gardevoir V. Looking really nice. I'm gonna sleeve you up, my guy. Put you right here. Okay. Our first pull from this ETB is that Gardevoir V. Alright, next pack, Galarian Obstagoon. Potion, Rotom Bike, Beedrill, Galarian Linoon, Vulpix, Rockruff, Scraggy, Galarian Zigzagoon, a Scraggy Reverse, and a Lycan Rock Holographic. Okay, next pack. Now, our creamy VMAX that we just got right there. Um, so I've been thinking of making another video for this channel. Just just to change it up content-wise. I, I was thinking of making a like a beginner's guide to or for anyone who's going back into the hobby because I've been getting a lot of messages from different people who have questions on how to um, how to I guess go back into the hobby. May it be me personally I'm a collector, not much of a trading card game um, player but I do play the game a little bit and it's a lot of fun um, but yeah um, I'm thinking of like making a video of just like um, how I got myself back into the hobby and how I've been um, thinking of what to collect on what sorry it's really hard to like focus uh, I'm just so excited hopefully we're going to get that Charizard our next pull is a Marnie holographic okay so so far only one pull from this um, from this elite trainer box but we still have four packs left Let's see what we can find but yeah essentially I wanted to make a video that will help um, 
like a like a how to go back to collecting Pokemon cards 101 kind of thing. Um, if you guys haven't been a part of the, uh, for the people here in the Philippines who want to go back into collecting, I really do suggest you go check out the different groups uh, on Facebook. Uh, the community there can be really, really helpful in terms of buying, in terms of selling, in terms of giving advice on what to collect. Um, do go and check those out as the groups have been really improving lately. Bead Reverse and a Galarian Obsidian Holographic. Alright, three packs left. Charizard. This one Charizard. Honestly guys, like I have not pulled a Charizard at all. I think the only Charizard that I've ever pulled in my whole life is from Dragon's Mag Dragon Majesty, a regular Holo Rare um, Charizard card. Uh, some of them I usually just buy in singles. Uh, that's another thing that I wanted to talk about. Um, how you can save money and just uh, attack the hobby wisely in terms of in terms of spending because this hobby can be quite costly but it's a lot of fun roly coly oh we got something right there okay here we go roly coly reverse and okay a gardevoir v full art it's looking like a gardevoir box right here okay i'm gonna sleeve you up right there because i am prepared with my sleeves and that looks really really nice gotta love the full art full arts from sword and shield they look really amazing honestly uh, they did uh, a really good job i think i saw someone from the group who has been collecting just full arts but again that's something that i want to like talk to you guys about on like what to collect um it's not like i'm giving you the financial advice or anything because I literally just went back into the hobby around um, late last year and yeah we have a Pokeball, Purloin, we have a Weedle, Galarian Zigzagoon, Roly Coley, a Machop Reverse and another hit okay Machop Reverse and an Incinerar V that shine boys okay so we have an incinerar v putting you next to that gardevoir v last pack not too hopeful but you know uh i wanted to show you guys the pull rates for these two products the double v box and the, the elite trainer box because i hear a lot of people have been getting their charizards from that double v box but yeah, um, the pull rates are not bad, honestly. But yeah, I'll talk about it later. And let's just see what we can find in this last pack. Sorry, my mind tends to go in a lot of different places because I want to tell you guys a lot of different things. But yeah, um, hopefully down in the comments below, you can uh, let us know like where if you did get that Charizard, um, let us know like which product did you get yours from? Galarian Zigzagoon, and for our last pull, a Hatrine Holographic. All right. And just to recap our pulls for today, so from our Elite Trainer box, we have an Incineroar V, a Gardevoir V, and a Gardevoir V Full Art. Look at that, look at the texture. That shine, that looks really, really nice put you aside there and of course if you do get the elite trainer box you do get this very nice promo card uh, quick recap on how to check for the card you would want to check if it's off centered from top to bottom or left to right so you can tell if one border is um, thicker than the other uh, that that will help with the centering of the card you want to check it front and back and you also want to check um, the condition of the card the reason I'm putting my hand like this is just so there's a contrast um, from the dark blue if you can see any whitening um, Because uh, how these cards are handled aren't always the best So sometimes they are like dense or like there's a bit of whitening um, Printing issues and whatnot. Okay for our double V box. These are the things that we got an Alcremie V Max 
really, really nice. The first time I pulled this one was with my dad. A Venusaur V and that double V promo card. So again, when choosing these products, you will just have to consider the promo cards that you're going to get. So you're guaranteed this double V promo card and that Charizard V full art promo card. So yeah, things to account for when thinking of how to like invest and whatnot or on what collection that you are trying to chase. Again, something that I've been thinking about of doing for this channel. Let me know in the comments below if you guys are interested with that. Or, you know, just opening these things. I'm really having fun with you guys. Um, but yeah. Well, that's it for today's video and you have my thanks for watching. If you like videos like this, I do hope you subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and for notifications, hit the bell icon. I'll see you again real soon.